last tips we're going to talk about here is tease them with results. Okay? People pay for results. They don't pay for features and benefits. Okay? I hate to break the news to you, but if you're spending all your time talking about features and benefits of LDI and LDI and this and that and, you know, I can, I can guarantee you, you lead a very frustrating, frustrated existence and maybe not nearly as profitable as it could be if you start focusing more on results. So bottom line, the only reason why people will consider listening to you is if they feel you might have something that's going to help them get something that they want or help them avoid something they don't want. Now that's a very powerful statement. You got to think about that. All right. The only reason people, anyone is going to consider listening to you, listening to you, not buying from you. Remember, we're not even to the buying stage, okay? We're not even there yet. This is a ways down the road. We got to get them to listen first, okay? The only way they're going to be willing to listen to you is if they think you might have something that's going to get them something they want. What's in it for me, right? That's the most important thing to anybody that you're talking to. Or help them avoid something they don't want a call from an angry customer or their boss or HR <laughs> with their pink slip, okay? So answer this question. What does your prospect want most and what does he or she want to avoid as it relates to logistics and transportation services? What do they want most? All right, this is a different spin, right? What do they want most? They want to look good to their boss. They want to look good to their peers. They want to look good to the people that are sitting across from them. They want to look good for the next review, the next raise, the next promotion, right? Maybe they just want to look good because they want to get a little bit of, uh, a little bit of uh, you know, uh, feedback from the, from the people in their organization, a little recognition, right? That's a huge one. You want to know the secret to winning somebody's heart, winning a customer's heart? Make them look good. Figure out a way at all costs to make them look good to their boss. Eek. Very powerful. Yeah, they want to make their job easier. It's great. Yeah, that's one of the things they want most. They want their job to be easier, less stressful. Absolutely. No question. They want somebody reliable. We talked about that a little bit. They want you to be responsive. Right? They want to know that you're accessible. That's a big one. They want to avoid wasting time. Yeah, you're right. They're busy. They want to avoid change for the sake of change. Change is a, could be a four-letter word in some people's vocabulary unless it has significant benefit behind it. Right? It's easier to just keep the status quo than it is to take a risk and change. Once you have those wants, and those want to avoids, those are the things you need to integrate into your opening. Those things right there are the things that you want to integrate and weave into your opening. Whether that opening be the first call or the third call or the tenth call, you want to integrate those pieces into your opening. Because just like the, you know, somebody's name is the sweetest music to their ears, what's in it for them is the most important thing that they want to talk about. Okay? So you want to really incorporate that into your opening.